Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Holidays with the Housewife video. If you don't know what Holidays with the Housewife is, no worries, it is my annual Christmas card making event, 12 full days of card making fun. Today I have a really fun stepper card to show you. This is my poinsettia stand stepper card. You can see how it would step out. It has this really, really pretty poinsettia market stand that gets all layered together. There's a spot on the back for your message and of course includes an envelope. This does have quite a bit of pieces to it, but I think that once you get started, it really does come together quickly. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step 1. Get the free SVG cut file. Okay, here we are at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're going to head to the resource library tab. If you don't have access to my free file library, you can click get access. You'll fill out a form and then be emailed the password. But for now, we're going to go to enter the library. Once you've typed in the password, you're brought to all the free files. At the time of recording this video, I do not have any of the Holidays with the Housewife card files in my file library, but there is a graphic that is popping up right now that tells you the design number for this particular card. Go ahead and click that hyperlink, download the file onto your computer, make sure to unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space project in Cricut Design Space, we can head to Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open, and Upload. Highlight the image and click Add to Canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines in any text. Now that the file's been brought into Design Space, we can go ahead and ungroup the design. We need to do some converting of some of the score lines, so let's scroll down the Layers panel and find the envelope, highlight the score line, come up to the Operation menu and change that to Score, highlight the group and Attach. Do the same thing for the card base. And lastly, we need to change the sentiment layer. So let's find that text, highlight the text, come up to the operation menu and change that to pen. You can change the color if you wish right here, then highlight the group and attach. Now that those three things have been converted, we can go ahead and click make it. I'm gonna be using the mat for this project. Go ahead and click continue. I'm going to be using medium cardstock for this project. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out and I will see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design. Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, now that we have everything all cut out, it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. I've already gone ahead and added the centers to the poinsettia flowers. And then I've layered and added the center to the larger poinsettia flower. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add our flower pots and lids to these green pieces here. I do have a layering guide within the download that will help explain and show how to layer everything together, so I would refer you to that. 
I'm going to go ahead and add the flower pots to the green pieces and then the poinsettia flowers on top of the green pieces as well. So we have our poinsettia pots all layered together. I'm going to go ahead and do the two trees now. Set those to the side to dry. Now we can go ahead and layer our little market stand. We're going to go from left to right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have gone ahead and added the big poinsettia there in the center of the emblem. I'm going to hold off on putting the poinsettia pots on the stand itself until the card base is done. So let's go ahead and mat and layer our messaging panel. Okay, we can set that to the side. Now let's take our card base. The card base is going to be folded along this middle score line. You can see it faintly right there as a mountain fold. And now the folds on the sides, it's going to be a mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold. Then here is the side of the card, so you can see how everything is supposed to fold. I'm going to close up the card base, making sure that everything is aligned properly. And then I will take my scraper and just burnish all of those folds. Now let's open up the card base to add the front cover panels. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and add our messaging panel to the back of the card. All right, there we go. Let's close the front of the card up. Just give everything a nice little press here. Now I'm going to take the two snowy layers and then these just cover up the bottom part of the cover panel here. So the left side is the piece that kind of has the long right end right here. And then the part with the sentiment on it just goes on top of that. Okay, there we go. Now let's add our trees. And the trees, um, you line up the edges with those side cover panels. So I'm actually going to open up the card in order to do that. Now let's add our little market stand. Now we can just add our poinsettia pots. Put one here on the ground right next to the stand. And you can obviously place these however you want. This is just what I had in mind when I was designing this. I 
I have one little flower here that doesn't go in the pots just to have kind of finish off that corner like a flower had fallen out of one of the pots and that's what it looks like without the garland on the top now we can go ahead and add our garland and now you can place the other poinsettias wherever you wish So there is the front of our card. Some of that glue needs to dry still. Now I did give you extra pieces here for the poinsettias if you wanted to double them up. You also have extra centers there if you wanted to use those. Those are included within the download. Okay. I'm going to set that to the side so I can show you how to go ahead and make the envelope really quick. For the envelope, we're just going to fold and burnish along the score lines. Now we're going to take our inlay panel and add glue along the outer edge. Flip the inlay over and place it on top of the cutout on the envelope. Spin the envelope around and fold those side flaps in. Add our glue along the bottom edge of those side flaps. Then with our thumbs, push up on the bottom flap and press. And then that forms our envelope. So here we are, our finished card. Isn't that cute? Cute little stand. Looks very inviting very very cute isn't this card beautiful i love the poinsettias one thing that i want to ask really quick my husband and i were kind of debating is it poinsettia or poinsettia i'm not quite sure i told him that's like tomato tomato because i say both versions poinsettia or poinsettia so let me know in the comments which way you say it if you make this card make sure to post it in our facebook group we have thousands of friends who love to support and motivate each other we would love to see your creations there's a link down below for you to check it out until next time i'm nick i'm the bearded housewife i will see you at the next card making video bye